Let's do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Game Tech Place is back with another unboxing video. This time, let me share how I resolved the connection issues I encountered, expanded my Wi-Fi coverage, and maximized my internet speed on the second floor without spending too much money. In this video, we are going to unbox a budget-friendly router that features Wi-Fi 7 and delivers Wi-Fi speeds of up to 3.6 GB per second, the TP-Link Archer V3600 Dual Band Wi-Fi 7 router. Evidently, I need a new router because I'm experiencing problems with my current one. Sometimes, even though my PC is connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see, there's a short video playing on my browser, but I cannot connect to the Steam or Epic servers to play my online games. Even my smart TV and PlayStation 5 can connect to Wi-Fi, which was not happening before. Also, my current router is limiting my internet speed to only up to 100 megabytes per second due to its bandwidth speed limitation even though I have a 500 megabytes per second internet subscription. So, this Archer VE3600 could be the perfect solution to fix my problem with my current router installed inside my room. Additionally, having an additional router is the perfect route solution to expand my Wi-Fi coverage, particularly if I'm on the second floor or in areas far from my optical network terminal, where my devices struggle to connect due to a weak Wi-Fi signal. So, to effectively extend my Wi-Fi coverage throughout my house, a router like this Archer V3600 is necessary. With an additional router like this one, not only can I expand my internet coverage but also maximize my internet speed throughout my house, reaching up to 2.8 GB per second through its 5G connection. Although this router is not 6G capable, it works well for me since our network provider in the Philippines only offers internet subscriptions with a speed of up to 1 GB per second. Additionally, both of my PC builds have a high-end motherboard that is compatible with Wi-Fi 7, making the Archer V3600 a great choice. So, without further ado, let's unbox the Archer V3600 router. The box is compact and detailed, highlighting the features of this wonderful router. By the way, I'm not a network expert, so I can only tell you its basic functions. So, inside the box are the router, installation manuals, a LAN cable, and a power adapter. The Archer V3600 is a compact and lightweight router available in black, featuring four antennas. On the back, we'll find power port, power button, internet port, four LAN ports, a reset button, and a WPS button. Just to clarify, this is the B3600 model version 220, which supports one and LAN speed of up to one gigabyte per second, this router is more than adequate for fully utilizing my 500 megabytes internet subscription. If your internet connection exceeds 1 gigabyte per second, you will need to upgrade to a different router that can handle your subscription speed. For example, the version 230 of this router has a USB support and can handle up to 2.5 gigabyte per second of one and LAN connection. Installing this router is simple. Just power it on and connect the LAN cable from your optical network terminal to the internet port on the back of this router. Once the router is installed, setting it up and configuring it is quite straightforward. First, connect the PC to the Wi-Fi. Open a web browser and enter the web address 192.168.0.1 or tp-link wifi.net. This will take us to the router's login page. Upon opening the page, we are prompted to create a password as shown on the screen. The next step is to select the time zone, which I did. After that, I chose the connection type, which is the dynamic IP. After clicking next, it displayed the dynamic IP or MAC address, so there was nothing more to do here. So let's go ahead and click next again. On this page, we can change the name and the password of the Wi-Fi. I decided to keep the default name and password, so I just clicked next. The router then tested the internet connection, which took a little time. Now, on this page is one of the great features of this router as it can automatically update itself and able to choose the update schedule. In this area, as we can see above, it indicated that the test was successful, so I just click the next button. Since I'm setting the router up as an extender, I selected the first option and click next again. Here, it prompted me to bind the router to a TP-Link ID, but I don't have one, so I just click the skip button. I click skip again on this prompt. On the following page, I was prompted to update the firmware, so I went ahead and did that. 
After that update, the router rebooted and I logged back in. I was then asked for permission to authorize the sharing of some information but I choose maybe later. There you have it, we have successfully installed and configured the router. Now, let's test the internet speed to determine if there has been an improvement. Previously, this speed was only around 100 megabytes per second, but now it has increased to approximately 500 megabytes per second. Please note that this router is capable of Wi-Fi 7. To enable multi-link operation network, let's go to the advanced settings, then select wireless, and click on wireless settings. Here, let's enable the multi-link operation network setting. Let's click save, and then OK. This action will reboot the router. So now we have two connection choices, the 5G connection and the multi-link operation connection, which utilizes Wi-Fi 7 technology. As we can see, my current internet speed is maxed out on my internet subscription, and even my PlayStation 5 connects to Wi-Fi without any issues using the new router. By the way, this router cost me 1,849 Philippine pesos. The main question is, was it worth buying for my gaming setup? Absolutely, it has resolved all my concerns about my internet connection. Technically, this router might not be the best router on the market, but it is a budget-friendly router and has the right features that I need and resolve my internet troubles. So, in case you also want to improve your internet connection, this might also be the ideal router for you. While I may not have explored every single detail of this router, I sincerely hope you found this video enlightening and engaging. I would love to hear your feedback, so please share your thoughts in the comment section below about this router. Your insights are priceless not only for me, but also to others in our community who may be considering this product. So thank you so much for active engagement throughout this video. And if you found this content beneficial, I deeply encourage you to subscribe and hit the like button. Your support is not just appreciated, it is essential for our growth. As always, thank you so much for your time and always be safe. Paalam! The real stuff, everybody listen up Cause I'll only say it once I'ma show you all the past